besides that, were you messing around with Gen 2 and other devices at the time? And then... Um, yeah, so look, I've, I've done many before in the past, mm. like uh, little pocket PCs, oh. like a little 40 megahertz um, machine with like 16 megabytes of RAM. But that was back when I didn't really understand... Um, Linux as much as I thought did. You know, know the stage when you think you know it all but know nothing. Yeah, yeah. Um, um yeah, and like I had like a little Spark um laptop as well, which mm. was quite nice. Um but it's only been recently that I've actually understood what I was doing um to be able to do it. So I started off with the Pentium free, then mm. moved on to the Xbox three sixty, mm. which is awful. Don't do that with Lin- Linux, oh. especially Gen 2. What's wrong um, about the a... Xbox? So there's a bug on all xbox 360s that if all the processors hit a certain load it hard locks the console <laughs> and apparently it's always been there and um every game has worked around it and the only reason oh. we know about it is because we got linux running on it in the first place and hit it constantly <laughs> it's never been solved since they've got it on there and no one ever thinks they will but yeah you'll randomly be using it and it will just crash but you I'm can't do anything assuming that happened during the streams many 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 times right uh <laughs> awful how do you avoid that you, you can't you physically can't i've tried limiting it to one core it just it hits a random load in a <laughs> random place and that's it like no one knows ah. the secret source to stop it <laughs> if anyone does please uh-huh. please uh upload fix do me a favor <laughs> That's so dumb. So did you end up getting that one done, or were you just like, uh, uh, I've, nope? I've got it working on there. It's not usable, so I've not okay. released it. You, you know, it, it's uh, yeah, it, it, it was just more of a passion project for fun. Uh, the, the better one I did was the Nintendo Wii, which mm. uh, I actually managed to get a full, um, a full install of like a stage three that you just rip to an SD card, and if you've put... Um, What's the, the loader? Me boot onto your Wii. Mm-hmm. You just plugged in the SD card of it and it'll instantly boot into Gen 2 for you, mm-hmm. which was pretty good. And then you could just use it as a, you know, uh, install it from there to how you wanted it to be, which was was quite fun doing that. Um, and what then the, after that, uh, there's what, what do we have? You have the Power PC, uh, Power Mac, the, the, the Power Mac G5. Yeah, the G5. Um, I was thinking I was speaking to a Gen 2 dev um, mm-hmm. about uh, bugs, and he was he was telling me about how bad Big Edian um, Power PC 64 was. Mm-hmm. And then the next thing, I'm there on eBay trying to find a system to to buy because I just find stuff like that fun. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's a really good price though. With the other uh, PS2 and the 360, did you just happen to have those just? Already still laying uh, around, Xbox, or? Uh, Xbox 360 I had from a childhood. I had a PS2 somewhere, but I can't mm-hmm. find it, so I just oh. bought another one. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah, uh, so Pentium 3 I got free from work one day because <laughs> it was cheaper to give it to me than put it in e-ways. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not like, exactly... It's like, crazy, isn't it? It's not exactly the worst part was they so rang... Yeah, so they rang me up one day and they were like, oh, we've got this PC, it's really old. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> well known. Hey, at least it's uh, well, at least it works out for you then. Oh, yeah, sometimes it does. Um, so what else have I got? I've got uh, an original Xbox as well that I need mm-hmm. to install it on one day. That would be, that'd be a problem. But again, that's just a penny and free and a fun- funky box, isn't it, really? Oh, you're right. The, the original Xbox was ju- just a, basically just a PC, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Just a, a stripped-down version of Windows 2000, I believe. Mm. Right, no, that, that, of course it is, because that's why that's why every, all the devs hated the PS2, because it was this dumb architecture that didn't make any sense. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's like, hey, let's let's have this emotion engine thing. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, what? What, is, what did you just say? <laughs> let's not do that. I, I think it was more the issue on the PS3. Um, that everyone had the, the PS3 issue, was a it? lot worse, but the PS2, from my understanding, was it was a mess as well. Um, the, uh, it was a modern vintage gamer did a really good breakdown of the architecture and how it was different from um, you know th- well, things going on at the time. Uh, and when when yeah. the alternative to the PS2 is a PC, like it's obviously going to be easier to develop for one of them, but the PS2 just was a DVD player that was very cheap, so it kind of sold really yeah. well. So they had to well, learn. And it was, 
Yeah, so and it was out a good few years before, so it had yeah. already won the console war before they even got into the market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the PS3, even though it was a cheap Blu-ray player, uh, it didn't exactly help it that much. No, I mean that was the first year I didn't buy Sony um, as a as a thing. I yeah, but... I, I no, I, I've only ever bought um, PlayStation consoles. Yeah, I've actually never bought anything from microsoft um i did have an original xbox that was secondhand gifted to me and i had a a wii that was uh gifted to me but i've never actually bought uh a xbox or a nintendo console with my own money that's pretty good going i mean obviously my things are a little bit different so Mm -hmm. i look for a system that's hackable so i can put linux on it as everyone does Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, absolutely. Uh, obviously, yeah. So obviously, when it came to the PS3 at the time, it wasn't hacked, so it was mm-hmm. 360 that year for me. Mm-hmm. Is um, the PS3 so, yeah. doable now, or what's? Yeah. Oh yeah. Now it's it's fairly easy if you know what you're doing. It's going to be a little hard because I don't think the software's been updated in a few years. So you'll probably be starting from a 2014 base. <laughs> If you've been using Linux for a while, you'll easily be able to mm-hmm. sort that out yourself. I mean, I've got some notes lurking around about how I'd think I'd do it without seeing it, but it's just getting my hands on a system. One day I'll find one lurking around and a thrift shop or something can do it. 